Hello, once again, everybody. Um, I'm still being a little bit quieter than usual because it's still late at night. It's now past my official recording time, but like I said, I've got two more videos to do before the day is actually over. So um, I'm taking my time to record them now, like I've mentioned for the past few days. And um, another thing is, well, <laughs> I've turned 22 today. Fucking 22. Getting too old. But anyway, the Fafner intro. <laughs> So, um, this is pretty much similar like the last one we did with um, S Otherwise. Like, I kind of watched it. I watched more of this, the one, than I did of S Otherwise because um, it one of those things that, like, nothing was happening. You know, like, in some things, there's always, like, a build-up and then there's, like, a shot down like it were for Bigot at HK. But um, this time, there was just literally nothing. Like, the start of it was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed the start of it, but then... Nothing was really happening. It just kept on repeating the same stuff. Like, they kept on fighting this giant, big, fucking yellow demon thing. And it kept on fighting it all the time. Like, why are you fighting this? Why? I tried to understand it. Like, I watched more of it. And it just kept on popping up more. Like, someone even sacrificed themselves. And it still wasn't dead. Like, what the fuck is this even on? So then, after like about 10 or 12 um, episodes of watching it, I just gave up on it, really. It was like, there's, there's nothing actually happening. Like, why am I... Um, like, I've just had it on in the background at some points, and even I picked up on, like, nothing was literally happening. Like, oh, look, we need to move the island. Okay, lost, calm down. Whoa, with this big yellow bird thing, we need to kill it. Okay, then you've been fighting that now for fucking past half the season, and you didn't fucking die. Someone else died for the power, and then more characters are kept on cropping up from places like, oh, one of the titles were um, something about family. I saw nothing about family in that video or in that episode. So that's mainly why it's going to be like the last weekend's video or weekend before that, sorry. Because it's just repeating itself. Like, oh, I'm fighting this big yellow demon thing and these these robots fighting it and no progress is being made whatsoever it's not even damaging it it's like flicking a freaking giant it's just ticking you off slowly and it just nowhere was getting to it and again with the same anime trope i don't even remember no one's name i really don't i didn't read the blurb again fuck i always forget about reading the blurb give me a second guys i'll in fact i'll go together while i'm talking because um fafner or fafner is it called like it does have nice music i will give give that um the premise of it seems okay as well. Like, I don't I diss it for that because it's actually got me hooked for the first few episodes. But then after that, it was just repeating itself and didn't even enjoy it. Like, some guy um, who was watching it, of course, didn't really um, understand what the fuck was going off. Because he kept on watching it. So, like, why does the girl like him so much? I was like, well, it's anime. You don't really need no backing story. Although, I could give it benefit of the doubt. It is like an old fucking 2004 anime, so... I can't really... Give it... Like, um... A benefit, like, no deadline for that, though. So, 
Either I knew it wasn't going to be something I liked because it was like more mecha and sci-fi, and that's not my kind of anime trope. But anyway, here is the um, blurb. Tatsumijiyama is the central island in the middle of a small cluster of islands in a sleepy backwater of the Japanese Isles. Not much happens there, and the island's young people go to school knowing that their lives are likely to remain peaceful and undisturbed, or so they have been taught, but the truth is different. The fate of mankind is on the line, and Tatsumiyaji, Tatsumiyajima is the last line of defence against a hostile and incomprehensible enemy, and the centre of it all, fighting for humanity's continued existence, is the giant robot Fafner, the dragon that guards this final treasure of mankind. Right, so... It seems here that the description of this is like, oh, look, there's like kind of build up all these because, like, oh, you don't worry, you're going to school. Nothing's really going to attack the island. But even in episode one, you jump straight into fighting it. Even like the guy below in the comments has said, like, this is what he says. The most, this is the most ass I have ever seen. And I only seen six episodes. It confused me. Why is that girl in love with him so much? Just so... Just so that it did not explain the first episode good at all. Um, it basically just saying like, hi, I got into the robot and fought an alien and that was it. That is literally how it happened as well. I understand with that one. But with the other one he's saying about the girl liking him so much, that is an anime, you know? Like, it always starts, oh, I like this person a lot, but they don't, don't need to have no backing into it. I think that guy's like the first anime to watch. And, well... Um, if you like the Gundam series, you know, with all the giant robot fighting things, I would say this is kind of like something for you, but just give the intro benefit of the doubt. I did. I was like, eh, you know, that guy's probably being picky, but I, I don't have a problem with exciting like that. It could have been a little bit better, but I don't, I don't mind that. But the thing is, it didn't get better. You know, it didn't get worse, it didn't get better. It just kind of like stayed at the same level it didn't have no high perks it didn't have no attachment i didn't get no attachment to any of the characters like the person who died wanted you to feel sad for that character instantly like oh no she's dead i want to have a little bit of teary eye. but there were no attachments so they didn't give her enough screen time it's like she was in one episode and then like she's carried on for like three episodes afterwards oh we'll feel sorry for this girl because she died boohoo it's like why are you being boohoo i'm not boohoo i didn't get any affection to this character like in other animes I've watched, oh, I've known this girl for like five episodes and she's really cool. She's given me a lot of chemistry that I like. But there was no chemistry. There was just melodramatic. Like, I like this person. This is this person's island. I'm going to save him. Yay, I don't know how to fucking use this giant robot. I'm going to try anyway and die. Hey, No attachment. I don't care about this character. Please give it some more background if you're going to make anything. But that's all I can really say about it, really. Um, try, if I had to give some... Um, feedback and what they should have done better is give it a better opening. Give it like some like traditional anime opening where it's like, oh, look, average or, or ordinary average life. Oh no, giant robot attacks. Oh look, we've got our own robots to fight with. We can use these. Yay, and have this girl who died like episode 7 or something like that. Give her a more background story as well with these characters. Have like more of a thing, unless this is season 2. Because one of the titles it says here is, um, Fafn in the Azure 2. I don't understand that. Another one says, Fafn in the Azure, dead aggressor. So there was one before it, by the sounds of it, but it's not being put on this anime site that I watched. So unless season 2 got linked to it, which makes sense if it was like a season 1 kind of thing, which would obviously make sense, but obviously it's not been put into this. It even says there, like, Syoku no Fafn 2, as in like the number 2, as like the Roman numeral 2, so... Some stories missing on this website, so I might have to give the benefit of the doubt of that robot being in there. So I'll, I will give that one, but there might probably might be more attached to that character, so everything I've put into this is like gone out the window then if that's the case. So that might be it. I don't know, but if this is like a first opening season, like start like season one kind of thing, then yeah. Give the story a little bit more of an opening, or even if it's a season two, see what this is what happened last time kind of thing. And then, then it might give more attachment to people. But other than that, there's nothing like the main character. I'm not attached to him. None of them. I'm not attached to any of them. There's no chemistry there for me to grab onto and like the character for. So put chemistry into your characters. Give more of a background story if it needs to be. Because it does need some background story. Like start with like an easygoing thing like I've already said. But that's all I can really say about the criticism of this thing. And 
what is next in our list for G? Because this instead of doing it like every two weeks, I'm going to be doing it weekly now because I want to get through it quickly and like see more anime. Which I know is G, but I don't know what. Oh, Guy Ray Zero apparently sounds cool. Oh, we've um, got quite a lot to go through as well. Because there's Galaxy Angel. I've heard a, I've heard that one before. Not watched it though. Looking forward to it though, but we'll see. But anyway. I will see you next week's video about my anime review for G. So I'll see you then. And as always, this is Rich Light. And yeah. Take care, guys. Where the fuck is the thing? Oh, yeah, by the way, enjoy the outro too. Peace. Even though we had just won a battle, we didn't feel the usual joy. Instead... We felt the loss of our friend, and just dealing with that was all anyone could do. Thank you.